Consider yourself lucky if you can see three. Extraordinarily lucky if you can see four. Uh, there's a couple good ones only here. So hunt around. Uh, one, two, I see about, that's awfully fuzzy to me. Okay. Is that better? Mm -hmm. Okay, I see maybe one, two, three. Uh, one, two, maybe three. One, definitely two. That's with a blue filter. Okay, uh, let's go to the next project. Uh, I forget, what is it, 19? That was not a rhetorical question. I was expecting an answer. What number is that? Uh, number 15. Number 15. Okay, that's very, very light. And people say, oh yeah, I see the tetrads. One, two, three, four. No, those are four chambers. The tetrads are the little dots inside. Go to higher power. All right, that's 10x. Here's the tetrad inside, kind of light. 40x, you're going to have to hunt around. Usually you're going to see, you know, two of these or three, but a shadow, but right here I got one. One, two, three, four. Four microspores. See the wall? Okay, beautiful pet thread there. Okay, most of yours are going to look like this. You know, you're lucky if you see two, maybe a shadow of a third. Well, Hunter, on, you might find only four microspores stuck together. Okay, this one is easy to do. This one is 16. That's 4x power. So you can see the long tubes. How do they get those things to germinate on a glass slide? Put a little drop of table sugar. You see pollen grains? See the long pollen tube? Okay. Uh, the black stuff may be nuclei. Okay. Okay, now we have a developmental sequence. They go together. 17, 18, 19. This is the pericarp. Fruit coat. See, it's triangular in shepherd's purse. These are the seeds with embryos inside. Most of them are garbage. You have to hunt around till you find a decent one. Now, uh, here's a decent one. There you go. See? A ball and a stick. That's a very, very young pro-embryo. Okay. And uh, that's one seed. Uh, there's 40x power, kind of dark though. A uh, ball and a stick. Okay, the next one is the same thing. Shepherd's purse, 18. Pericarp. See, I've uh, got fruit coat. See the seed? Most of them are crap. But here's a real good one. Why? Because I can see the developing cotyledons. Shepherd's purse is a dicot. One, two cotyledons. Hypocotyl, radical. Seed coat. Okay, then the last one, number 19, same thing. Peri, I don't think it is a pericarp wall. Most of these are, are junk. Hunt around until you find a good one. Then go to 10x power. That's pretty damn good. Uh, let's see. It's hard to get orientated here. Where, oh, these are the two cotyledons. One, two. How do I know? Because they're both attached right here. And that's the hypocotyl and radical. Uh, the whole thing is a seed. That's one seed. Not a lot of room for that embryo, is it? Okay. Maybe you'll be lucky to find one like this. Uh, cotyledon, cotyledon, and oh, off the side, I can't see it. This was a beautiful stem tip. A uh, hypocotyl radical. Radical, hypocotyl, two cotyledons. Whole thing is a seed. Okay, then you have some bean seeds to uh, open up. I'll show you where they are. Let's finish these slides. There's only a couple left. You open one up. Oh, yeah, what are the parts? I mean, you don't need a microscope for this. Seed coat, cotyledon, cotyledon. Beans are dicots. Plumule, hypocotyl, radical. Radical, hypocotyl, plumule. Got to leave the secret. The five things you got to know. <coughs> All right, then finally, not terribly important, but here it is. 23, that's a res, uh, yeah, that's a strawberry. There's a little akeen embedded in the receptacle. See the vascular tissue in there? Okay, then finally, the last slide. This was not under a microscope. I just got real close to my camera and took the picture of your slide. Uh, uh, pericarp and seed coat. This is all endosperm of the corn grain. Scutellum, or cotyledon, and 
growing embryonic axis. Now, under the microscope, uh, that would be uh, endosperm, scutellum, mesocotyl, coleoptile, growing leaves, and stem tip. How about the base? Uh, endosperm, scutellum, coleorhiza. It even looks like a root, doesn't it? Doesn't look like a root. Radical, see the procambium, vascular strands there. Okay. So take a look at the corn end. This is all endosperm. There's a tip of the scutellum. This is all scutellum here. Bunch of leaves inside a coleoptile. Ah, mesocotyl, where everything meets in the middle. And then coleorhiza and radical. I think there's a root cap starting already. Doesn't it look like it looks like a root cap right here on the tip of the radical, all the way back in the embryo stage. And years ago, when we taught General Bonnie, you always bash open a plum from Joel with a hammer. And then I put it back, you know, you don't want to bash it with the, you know, the soft stuff you get in your face. So I bashed open the pit or stone. And this is what? Well, exocarp, mesocarp, endocarp. And what's inside? One seed. Okay? So that's a plum from Jules. All right.